Okay, it's 719. We're going to call this uh, planning development in order. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Taylor. All right. All right. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, so uh, tonight uh, we're here to discuss uh, rental coast for the city of Nelsonville. Um, so I've handed out uh, everyone present here a uh, copy of Title 37, which is the current uh, <coughs> rental code for the city of Nelsonville. Uh, I've done some benchmarking. The standards that I ran it are pretty pretty standard. You know, the, the basic health and safety standards for uh, you know, rental uh, properties. Um, so I won't bore everyone, everyone with that. Uh, but it's Title 37, if uh, you want to check that out. Um, what I'm kind of focused on is uh, second to last page, 3704, which is uh, how we check for compliance. And we don't. Um, so basically, right now it's a complaint based system. Um, as I understand it, before I was ever on council, uh, Title 31 was passed that uh, had a little more stringent uh, enforcement, which uh, this replaced that. Um, I guess my first question for uh, Chief Oliver how many complaints do you get on uh, rental properties? Because this says you, know, you have to fill out. You know, a form has to be signed off on all these different things. Are you talking about code wise or uh, for rental code, not code in general, but someone comes to you and saying, Hey, you know, I don't think it's got the right amount of fire extinguisher. I'd, I'd say it's minimal. Okay. Not so, really minimal, unless someone's got some pretty major issues and a little gotcha. So that kind of lends itself to me that we're not being proactive to making sure our housing stock is safe. And going to be you know, reliable for people. Um, so I think that's a problem. Um, that's one thing I want to kind of get into. And I think as we go along, we'll get uh, you know, the Planning Commission back up to speed. Uh, Mr. Clement, you said there's some open spots on the Planning uh, Commission. There are, my understanding, there are two open spots on the Planning Commission. Okay. Out of three members? Out of five. Out of five. Okay. So, uh, yeah, anyone who wants help, help to. Uh, Shape uh, this going forward. You know that's that's a big position. The planning Commission. We really rely on them to uh, help us with these things. Um, so one of the things I'll suggest, and obviously we're not passing anything tonight. We're not uh, putting everything forward tonight. But I just kind of want to get everybody's ideas. Um, you know, my idea is, you know, rather than just being complaint based, which you know, from what you see in the city with rental properties, things like that. There are a lot, there, there's a lot of landlords that do a good job, but there's a lot that don't. And I think if we're going to continue to grow and improve the city, that needs to improve. And I think uh, everybody needs to be on the same page. Um, I think the way that was set up, you know, set up deliberately to be inconvenient and even intimidating to renters to go, well, I really don't want to go to the city and file a report because now my landlord might retaliate. So maybe it's just the way I think. Um, so that's what I really want to focus on, um, and uh, the enforcement of that. Uh, right now, we've got a part-time code enforcement officer, which you know he's learning on the job, and I think he's you know his production seems to be picking up from what I hear of late. So uh, he kind of came into this cold. Uh, so I think as we go along, that's something we need to discuss and flesh out as well as how we're going to enforce this and, and really make sure that everybody's you know, complying with this as they should because everybody deserves to have safe housing in our city so it'll be really important to spell out <clears throat> how it's to be enforced so yeah. there's guidelines and right and it's not something i want to i don't want to ram rod through and, and be yeah. half baked and you know and have holes in this like this is a big thing for us and i, I think we should get it right and take the time to do that so uh, mr Dunphy, do you have any comments for anything i do not that. have any comments with it i think it's a great idea i think that it needs to be done the right way um i think that you need to um you know i would uh for total transparency i would probably have a meeting with uh an open meeting with a lot of the landlords mm -hmm. in the town you know advertise it have them come um so they know what's expected of them so that there is no questions once we get you know the standards figured out. Sure. Yes, I'm with absolutely. You. Sure. Other council members, do you have thoughts? 
Yes, I guess um, I have a comment. I was on the Planning Commission when Title 31 was put together. It's a lot more comprehensive. It has a lot more definition um, and spells out a lot more than what uh, the current code, Title 37, does. And I believe it was really only one objection, and I don't remember exactly. It was on page one. But I think the Title 31 is a lot better code than what we have in place now. Do we still have that where we can reference that? I have a copy of it, but it is missing a couple pages. But we spent a year and a half, I believe it was, working on this. And the definitions, it, it spells it out a lot more. Yeah, there is a whole section of, of this definitions you know, yeah. defining all the terms because it's kind of vague in title 37 and our code people would have to it, it leaves a lot of it to um, their discretion without really spelling out what they're looking at and that's that's one of the reasons i kind of lean on you guys that have more experience with this you know, i'm a car guy so you know, if, if we the more definition we have, the better our process is, the less ambigu ambiguity there is. So I would agree. Yeah. So um if we could get the planning commission back up to where it needs to be, revisit title 31. Just go back through it, review it, um, make the one change that was objected to, and then possibly bring that forward. You know who is the head of the planning commission for um I believe it's Betty Joe Pars. Betty Joe. Yes. And that would give us time to get up to speed how we want to look at the code enforcement office. Right. And kind of make it a whole yeah. So when we bring it together, it's all one thing. Sure. Absolutely true. I agree. That's uh, that's a big hot button issue for the whole city for our growth and uh, you know the well-being of our people. So it was yeah. also part of the reason why the uh, uh, rental uh, registration was developed and was to help fund you know the position of the code officer to uh -huh. for for inspections on that that sort of policy um, so that we can ensure that you know places are meeting the standards. The only places in town currently that get any sort of uh, inspection would be those of uh, Second Aid or Hudson House. Uh, and that's the policies that they have. And it would be only rental properties. Yes, this is purely for rental properties. Purely for rental. Purely not for, rental. for private. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and that was the objection. There's been some misinformation in the past, on the past the last time. There was somebody, there was people in the community passing out misinformation stating it was for private homes and that they could come into your private house and tell you how you were going to take care of your private home. It's for rentals and rentals only. Big black letters. Big black letters. Yes. Yeah, rentals only. <laughs> yes. Yep, for sure. Okay. Um, can you advertise? Uh, uh, you may have been already the planning commission openings. You have them or you can't. I don't, <clears throat> so no one's ever mentioned anything about any of those commissions being opening. Who's need, all of them? Who needs to? We need two on the sales service, service also. So we have one. So we I, should. I don't know who knows. I don't even know what all commissions we have that are civilian led. Civilian led. So, yeah. Parks and Rec Board, I believe, needs members as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. So I, I think we should look at all of our boards and commissions and then have and, time and for all of them. just do it all at one time. Yep. Bring them back up to speed. Great. Uh, so how do we go about getting that started then if we don't know who's on what? I'm not sure where we start to find that information, but we can find it, I'm sure. I'm sure Betty just Piper will be lining or uh, relying on you here to get some information out for us. Uh, the list should be in council minutes. Yes. They have to be appointed. Yeah, they have to be appointed. It's just probably been a while since it's been a long while. Yeah. yeah. We just did a zoning board yes. and did the five appointments. That did the only it staggered one. a one year, two year on down the line. So the planning commission would fall under those same guidelines. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Good. That's going to be that before you leave office, right? Okay? 
I'm sure you got nothing else going on. Chief yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Manager. Chief Manager. I think I'll make like this week. Yeah. Right there. So. We'll send out a couple emails. It didn't help us. I think I think sometime in the last four years, since I've been in full time, we did a full advertising of all the with Dan's help of all the committees. So maybe um one of the notices on the website has that full list of we do for that. council committees, but I don't think we ever did for like for vacancies. Or, on the... Well, yeah, it did for vacancies, but didn't say who got what. Right, right. That's what I mean. I'm sorry. That might help us know who to reach. I don't know. Just a suggestion. Right. I can I can look back through and see last time we posted stuff that might help on ordinances. That'd be great. Or what meetings to look at. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Okay, well, that's how we'll proceed. Uh, does anyone else, Mr. Duncan, do you have anything else? No, I do not. Anyone else from council? Anyone from the audience? It's a good plan to get started. Thank you. It's, it's, it's well needed and has been for several years. So, thanks. Where, where are we at with the uh, door? Uh, as soon as our uh, as soon as Mr. Kanjemi comes on, he can make the application to uh, get the process started with the state. I've had the chief executive of the uh, municipality to put that in. So. All right. All right. <laughs> no, it's just All right. Right. It's it's right. Right. I didn't want one of all the other All right. We'll go ahead and uh, conclude this meeting then at 731.